Hello everyone, it's Delix. Okay, so did Naruto age well? Naruto the original is almost 20 years old, and I gotta ask, did it age well? So, I've talked about many of times how it doesn't really matter what year a show came out, if the material aged well enough where you can get behind the character, any story arc, the motive of that character, understand a character's backstory, and then see that character writing improve after the backstory. Some things, yeah, if it was executed in the right way, shit can always last forever in material-wise. Now then, it's no surprise, Naruto has been very criticized, and a lot of people sometimes don't even look at Naruto the same way after the reincarnation. And, and like I mentioned about that video when I said Naruto cheat to become the Okage, I know how we all feel about the reincarnations if you if you're, you know, like me, who have mixed feelings about it, a lot of people, also like I mentioned in the video, they don't really care. And it's been so long since 2014, 2013, like, I think people moved on from it where they don't agree with it, but they don't hate it as much. And I'm, I'm the same way, like, I find it very annoying, but I don't have like a hate boner towards it. I just feel like it just was not needed. And looking at the reincarnation um, story line, it didn't change anything of the universe of Naruto or the character of Naruto. Like, Naruto still acted the same way. Naruto didn't even seem like he really gave a shit. He was like, oh, I'm a reincarnation of Ashura. And, yeah, oh, I'm one of them. It just, he didn't really seem like he cared. And if Naruto doesn't seem all that interested and he's not all that worried about it, then I don't really feel like we should overreact. Like, like I mentioned in that video, nothing changed. Naruto still suffered. Naruto still grew up, had a bad childhood, met Jiraiya Kakashi, he had friends, he had loved ones, he suffered through those childhood years, but when he got older, he met the right people that accepted for who he was. And, um, I don't know. Like, I feel like, um, yes, some people don't feel like Naruto's storyline aged well because of the reincarnation god shit and it ruined the, the story. And, you know, years later, um, the original Naruto, in my opinion, just, I feel like everything was well. Everything was handled well in that story, but uh, along with going into Shippuden after, um, if you just if you just want to like look at both sides, Shippuden and Naruto, combining them since next year will be Naruto's anniversary of the anime or whatever or the way that you got into Naruto, the Naruto the original series is where we got into the universe itself, and then we got to Shippuden, and then we got to the you know the the stuff that everyone didn't like, but the story of Naruto started with the original series, so. Yeah, you can get where I'm coming from now. So even if Naruto Shippuden is not 20 years old yet, the original is, which is why I have to go back and forth, because after looking back at Naruto, people, like I, miss, like I said, they don't know if the storyline of Naruto aged well, because we found out Naruto is a reincarnation Jesus thing. And when you look at the original series, you can't really look at it the same way. You're like, oh, wait, Naruto was never, um, he was never the underdog uh, normal character, because he was the son of the fourth. He, ha he has... He has powers of a god, he, he was the reincarnation of this, and the sages six past said he was worthy, and people feel like, you know, no, no, that didn't age well, that was not good writing, because it's a bunch of bullshit now, and people now look at Naruto like he's not a good main character anymore, because of that reason. So, regardless how you feel about people praising about the 20 years of anniversary of Naruto, people are gonna say, no, Naruto got ruined because of the whole god thing, and the reincarnation, like, people still bring that shit up. I've come to peace with it, I don't agree with it, but... When you hear people talk about the anniversary of anything or praising anything of Naruto, they're always going to say that the show did not go well or didn't age well because nowadays we want people to, you know, work for their shit. They want people to not uh, be the legend of anything. They don't want people to be the reincarnation of anything. People just want to be that character to just live up to what they've been doing their whole life is working their way up. So when you find out Naruto uh, wasn't this normal kid anymore and people didn't, like, see him the same way, it's really hard... I don't really blame people who think Naruto didn't age well when it comes to the plot of this kid, you know, who had nothing, then worked his way up to get everything. When you look back when Naruto was a kid, it's like, did, did it really age well in today's society where people are okay with that kind of storytelling? It's like, I don't know, some people feel like it doesn't matter. Some people say it's okay to have a character that had everything, then lost everything, and then it's also okay to have a character that didn't have anything, and he worked his way up to get everything. But when it comes to Naruto, it's like... I don't know. It's like people have mixed feelings about it. But um, that's like the character of Naruto, the main character. It's up to you to decide this, but in my personal opinion, I feel like Naruto still suffered, he still grew, he still worked for his shit, 
and his relationship with Kuroma and then when they unlock the KCM2 form, my favorite form of Naruto when it comes to his yellow form. Oh, and all of his yellow forms, I mean, KCM2 is my favorite because of their their connection that they came to an understanding. I feel like that was a long I feel like that was a long build up situation that we know at one point Kurama and Naruto were going to, you know, like each other. Because Naruto mentioned him many times he was jealous of Killer Bees and Eight Tails relationship and he wanted that because Kuromo was always inside of him, and he was the reason why Naruto suffered as a kid, but he came to an understanding, and then Kusha, his mother, told him, even if you had to tell this inside of yourself, you can still find peace, you can still find love, you can still be happy. And that's something Naruto never knew, because he didn't have parents. And when you're not educated, you don't really know everything about the world, but when you do have parents to guide you in the right direction, you will know a few things. Like, if Naruto grew up with Minato, before he went to the tuning exams, Naruto would not be as clueless. Minato would back his information up, but Naruto had to find the answers late in his life, and that is realistic. So I kind of feel like the story of Naruto, besides the reincarnation god shit, there are still things in Naruto that are very powerful. The life lessons are there, and just to see this main character that had so much tragedy in his life, met his parents, and then understood you can still be happy, you know, it wasn't his decision to have a Tobis inside of him that was forced, well, it wasn't forced. Minato said, I'm aware, like, yeah, you must have had a hard life, but I did it because you can save the world. Plus, I did it because you are my son, and I knew you could make this power your own to do good things with it. Yeah, like, like, it was a sacrifice. Like, you can have this horrible childhood, but you also can turn into a positive. That's what Naruto did. That all the pain and the suffering that we saw Naruto go through, he had nothing. Then he met Jiraiya, the Kakashi, and, he, and Naruto worked for his Rasengan without the Ninetales. And you see his way work, his way up even more with the Russian Shuriken. Again, he didn't use the Ninetales to master that power. And, and when Naruto finally met his mother and his father, you felt comfort. You were thankful that he got to, he got this happiness, that he got to meet his parents. Besides him punching Minato, he was still thankful to know that he had a parent. And there are some things where people say, you know, the story of Naruto has plot holes because Kishimoto was keeping the secret of his life. That Naruto was around, you know, the third Okage and Kakashi, and they knew the truth, and they didn't tell him shit. I under, but I think he should, like, it may have been an issue, like, that part of the story may have not aged well because people all around him knew his, his truth about his life, and everyone was, like, wearing a mask, like, no, we don't know anything, but really they do. People feel like he should have fucked it up, but at the same time, I, I don't know, because Minato did say to Naruto, specifically, the reason why Third Okage didn't tell you anything while you were growing up was because if anyone found out you were my son, you would be attacked. Like, what if you were the next Yellow Flash? He didn't say that. But I think that's what enemies would think. Like, if Minato's powerful, holy fucking shit, his son might be powerful. And I think that was the reason why they had to keep it a secret, because if the word got out Naruto was the son of the fourth Okage, his life would be in danger. And it does make sense, but at the same time, I can understand why people say that kind of storytelling didn't age well. Uh, not to mention, uh, Kushina's, um, Kushina's, you know, backstory about the land of Eddies and how they were, like, this mastery ceiling clan, and they were two, the people were too afraid about their sealing jutsu that Minato learned to steal the Naitos and they killed, you know, they killed her people and everything and they had this crest, you know, the Land of Eddies and uh, people, I've also heard people say that they know about the Land of Eddies they were, you know, they were killed off, but people, but people were aware that they were alive but they're not even respecting anyone from that, um, from that, um, from that time period like the Land of Eddies and the Ed and Lee Phil, if they came to an understanding, to my knowledge and it's the crest on the back that everyone wears that's a Jonin, right? And Naruto, you know, he's... People feel like the Light of Eddie, since they had this history with the Henley village of that peace and friendship that they had once, that Naruto shouldn't have been disrespected the way that he was because they were aware that they, they were a thing. They, the Light of Eddie's people, they were alive at one point. And you think that Nar people who knew Naruto's history, even if they were, even if it was a secret, they would still get behind that he didn't deserve that hate. It wasn't, you know, his choice to have the fuck inside of him. The fact that he's related to Minato and Kushina's clan and all that other history, you'd think there would be a little more respect. And that's why a lot of people feel like the story of Naruto didn't age well, because a lot of people knew Naruto's life. They knew his parents. They knew the history of Kushina's, um, land of Eddie's clan, right? And people who were aware of it, they still disrespected, uh, Naruto. Um, so in some aspects, I feel like, yeah, I can understand why people feel like the story of Naruto Uzumaki didn't age well. But there's another thing about why I always tell people that the reason why I always consider myself a different Naruto watcher was because I don't always watch Naruto for the main character Naruto. I'll even watch the Hidan Kakuzu arc that has most of it just focused on Shikamaru. I'll watch the Jiraiya stuff. I'll watch the Sasuke Revenger going for Itachi. I'll watch a lot of episodes that has nothing to do with Naruto because I don't, because I don't find Naruto the most interesting main character. 
I grew up with them, but I don't have any bias toward, well, I mean, I do, but like, I really prefer Pain over Naruto as a whole character. Um, same thing with how people prefer Hitachi over Sasuke. But I, I would always believe if Naruto's character didn't age well, or it didn't go in the right direction, that does not mean the other character arcs didn't have a good end off. Because I feel like a lot of characters in Naruto had a better story arc than the main character. So regardless if you think Naruto didn't age well in storytelling with his perspective on the ninja world and growing up and stuff, it does not matter because I know Kakashi's life character arc was well written. Pains and Heavy Sasuke and Hitachi's. Like, I, I can still live with them and still say, yeah, Naruto's character arc may have not ended well or I may not agree with it. But these guys, they had a successful character arc that I prefer over. So I can't really say the whole series of Naruto got ruined because things changed at the at, at the end of the war, you know? But um, obviously the obvious stuff we can get out of the way, all the Naruto fights age very well. A lot of them look very good today compared to other anime fights. We can all get that out of the way. The Naruto fights age well. Um, as for the side characters, some side characters you like, some side characters you don't. But overall, we all can agree without the side characters, before it became the Naruto and Sasuke show after a while, during the Warwick, that if you take them out, there's no Chunin exams or Sasuke Retriever. Like, the side characters, the Konoha Eleven, without them, there is no Naruto Part 1. I'm sorry if the editors feel like we only cared about Naruto and Sasuke, that's not true. If that is true, then why was so much focus on them in the, in the original series? If you just want Naruto and Sasuke, take away half of everything that made Naruto the original amazing, because if you take the Konoha Eleven out, it's not really as great. There's no Sasuke or there's no Chunin exams. You know, there's none of that if you just want to be the Sasuke Naruto show. And I kind of feel like the editors really believe we only care about the main character, which is not true. I, I always prefer side characters over main character. I've always been like that. But um, the point I'm making that uh, if a lot of things in Naruto did age well, and I do believe it's a very strong character-driven story, that a lot of people uh, don't really get that. Like, Naruto is never a world-building series. It was never, like, a main deep story. And... If people think Naruto was this deep, complex story, it never was. It's a very... Like, when you watch Naruto now, how can you really explain it? You can't really say Naruto's a story about a kid who wants to become the Hokage. It's a lot more than that, because when you think about Kaka uh, Kakashi's story arc, Sasuke, Hitachi's, Pain's, and everyone else's, it's not really about Naruto as much anymore. It's like everyone's story. Everyone tells one story at a time within this show that is called Naruto. That's what I got out of it. I think Naruto aged very well with a lot of things, and there's a lot of things that did not age well in Naruto's storyline. But at the end of the day, I just prefer Sasuke, Itachi, and Jiraiya, and Pain's story arc over Naruto's. I just found those character arcs more appealing and, and, and interesting, and maybe even better written than the main character, Naruto. You know, I, I feel like the other character arcs, very, they age very well. Um, so I don't know. So the original story of Naruto, it's almost 20 years old. Did his story age well? did it hold up with the reincarnation god thing and people and like I said it didn't affect Naruto's character like it really it really did not after I thought about it his character after being reincarnation Jesus shit it, it does not matter Naruto still suffered grew had loved ones lost a lot of shit a lot a lot had a lot of pain growing up he was relatable in that aspect people can get behind of people you know being treated like shit being called a demon a monster people do live with parents and family and friends like that who treat you like shit you're a demon you're a monster you're trash Naruto was treated like that. So if you take out the Nine Tails concept, Naruto is a very relatable character when it comes to his backstory. And I feel like that aged very well. People are treated like that every day. Kids, you know? So I feel like that aged very well. But let me know your thoughts. Um, I don't know. Like, I don't know. And plus, if I got the Land of Eddies information wrong, I apologize. The Land of Eddies was a thing that, you know, we didn't go super depth in about it, but it was one episode titled about Kushino's backstory, but it's just something that I remember people complaining that he was part of this legacy uh, about around Kushina. Like, yeah, they're all dead, her clan or whatever, but the legacy is still there. And if Naruto, even if you don't, even if you hate Naruto, you know that he's the son of the fourth Okage and he's related to Kushina's history, you know, and you still disrespect this kid. So why would you disrespect him if you're aware he has this glory? I don't know. I could be wrong about half what I'm talking about. I've read other opinions on YouTube about Naruto, so just let me know, but I don't know. I think Naruto aged very well and very mixed opinions, but uh, those are that's my perspective. I'm Deluxe, subscribe if you want, and stay in your way. Have a good night. Bye.